Alrighty, good morning guys. We are live. We are live. Come join me please. It is about 10.50 a.m. This beautiful, sunny, but surprisingly cold Friday morning. It's about 43 degrees coming in this morning. It's a little warmer than that now, but it was pretty nippy this morning. But, oh well. Middle of October almost, so got to explain, or that kind of explains it, why we're dealing with some cold weather. But come join me. It is the 12th day of October, 2018. Hi, Mary Jane Lovins. Hi, Connie Butler. So, let's go ahead and get started in this um, devotion morning, Debbie Howard. This is part three of our three-part series of this devotion. Hi, Naomi Roberts. Brother Scott Campbell. Friday! Love you, buddy. So, we know that um, two days ago, we was talking about, on Wednesday, we was talking about God's refuge and he's he's been he is our refuge and then yesterday we went on and we um, spoke about um, of God's healing Everybody walking through we spoke of God's healing and God's comfort and today we're going to wrap up this three-part series and we're going to look at um, Jesus not only being our rest but he's also our hope and he is our home. Jesus is our eternal home. And um, I've got a bunch of scripture here that I want to share with you. So let's get right into it. And I'm trying to get all my notes and papers together. I had a lot of studying. Like I said, if you see all the papers that I've had just from this um, studies, front, <laughs> well, not back on that one, but so, and there's two more over here. But. A lot of, lot of writing, a lot of studying and stuff that I've done. And, and I try to condense this so where we don't spend all day long um, on here. But a lot of information. But, you know, again, we're, we talked about God being our refuge. Um, he's our comfort. He's our healer. And this morning I want to continue to say He is our rest. He's our hope. And He is our home. Um, what a blessing to know that in this life that Jesus is our strong refuge um, he's our powerful healer, and He's our blessed comfort. And He promises um, an everlasting rest, an anchored hope, and an everlasting home with Him. And talking about the everlasting rest, if you look in Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, and it's, it reads like this, And He said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Folks, aren't you glad for Jesus Christ and His eternal rest? Um, talks about being anchored in hope with his, his, in Jesus Christ. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 24 says, The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. Folks, listen. People says, oh, that's a bad thing to have hope. Um, well, you know, Paul says that if I had hope in this life only in Christ, I'd be of all men most miserable. But he knew that his hope in Jesus Christ is beyond this life. That our hope in Jesus Christ is even after we lay these bodies down and we'll wake up, our hope is in Jesus Christ um, in life and in death. Um, look in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 and 29. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Aren't you thankful for Jesus Christ being our rest? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 3 says, um, For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, Although the works were finished 
from the foundations of the world. Folks, listen, we have rest in Jesus. When all the troubles and all the things come against us and all the um, things that the devil tries to place in your mind and torment you with fear and doubt and, and uncertainty, I want you to know there is rest in Jesus Christ. There is peace, there's comfort, there's help, there is a refuge, you know, there's healing. Everything that we need in Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19 says, Which hope? we have as an anchor of the soul both sure and steadfast and which entereth into that within the veil and then we're going to kind of change gears and talk about the eternal home how about john 3 16 we all know this for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life john 10 28 says, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John 14, 3 says, And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there ye may be also. Folks, Christ is right with us. And then in John 17, verse 3, it says, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Folks, listen, I want you to know that we have joy, we have peace in every situation if we just lean on Jesus Christ. If we trust in Him and, and put our faith in Him to know that He loves us and He cares for us and that whatever that we may be going through, it's ordained by God. Listen, everything that we face God allows. Look what Job had gone through. God allowed, and we talked about that just a couple of days back, um, about Job and, and, and the things that he had to face. But he always stayed faithful in God. And he came out better than what he was when he first went into the trials. Listen, God will lead us and deliver us through situations. Sometimes we may have to endure suffering. Sometimes we may have to endure heartaches a little bit. But within those sufferings and heartaches is when we learn to trust God, where we learn to pray, and that's where we build strength. So, you know, we, we can have joy and peace in any situation when we loosen... I, I like this. I like how the writer wrote this line. It says, When we loosen our hold on earthly things and focus our heart on the depth and riches of God's love. Think about that. If we will loosen our grip on worldly things, most of the time that's, that, that's what causes us hardships and, and sadness is because our grip is so tightly held onto worldly things. Um, Jeff and Sherry Easter, a long time ago, had sung a song, um, I think it's on their Cloud Nine CD, I'm not really sure what CD it was, I'm thinking it was that one. But the title of the song was, If You Don't Mind, Then It Don't Matter. And I love the words in the story of that song, um, and it talked about you know an old man that had worked all of his life and to obtain material things. And something had happened financially, and he started losing his his worldly goods and was losing his home and different things. And in the song it says, you know, that the old man, he wasn't tore up about it. He wasn't distraught. Um, and when he was approached and asked why, he said, if you don't mind, it don't matter. He said, all these things are just temporary things anyway. He said, I attained it once, I'll get it again. He said, but, you know... In other words, the point of the song was, you know, yes, we know, you know, we need money for to survive. We need shelter and clothing and food. Um, go into Matthew chapter six, and and you can read, you know, where it says, can a man change his statue stature by um, worrying? Can he change, the, you know, his cubit or, I think, is like height or stature and one cubit is I think 18 inches some says 21 inches but anyway it says can you change your height by worrying about it you know can can you change your you know your hair color and all that by worrying and <laughs> there's a joke in there somewhere I know but you know the point of it is it says you know we know God knows you have need of all this but then the commandment came in and says but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you 
And so, you know, God knows that we have need of all that. He's a consider the lily of the fields. They don't plant, they don't sow, but yet there's not one, even um, Solomon, arrayed in his beauty as them. And the sparrows and, you know, all the things that God knows that we have need of, He'll provide, but we just need to seek God in His righteousness first. And then all these things shall be added into us. And the song went on and just kept, you know, reiterating that as long as you don't mind, if you don't, Put your love and, and your you know whole heart into your material things. Then when you lose them, you go, well, you'll be like Job. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, I know these are easy sayings, but then when you go through them, they're a little bit difficult. You know, I understand that. But my whole point today in this devotion is just to trust in the Lord, put your faith and confidence and trust in Him, and He'll give you the abilities that you need. He'll give you the strength that you need to overcome. But as long as we put our whole entire heart and and invest our whole love that we have in our heart on material things, listen, they come and they go. And the old man in the song just says, hey, if you don't mind, it don't matter. And, and that's the outlook we need, to, we need to have. Listen, regardless of how, how much we try to preserve our life, do you know the Bible teaches us that it's appointed for man once to die? So we're going to leave this world one way or the other. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. I believe that God expects us to live each day as, as full as we possibly can. And the quality of life... You know, we we have something to do with that. But as far as the length of our life, when it's time for us to go, no matter what happens, we're going to leave this world. So why put in and invest all your time and effort in worldly things that you're not going to be able to take with you? Why not invest your time and effort on heavenly things? Because when we leave this world, then if we're saved, if we accept Christ as our Savior, then we have a reward of heaven. But while we're on this earth, I want you to I want to give you this and I'm going to get through the words of this song. But I want to give you this as a, a great encouragement as well. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. It says, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So while we're on this earth, while we're living this life, don't misunderstand me. You know, God's going to supply our needs. God will take care of us. But again, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. Understand while we're on this earth, there is a refuge. There's a hiding place. There is healing in Jesus Christ. There is comfort and peace in Jesus Christ. And when this world is over with, I want you to know there is an eternal rest in Jesus Christ if we just follow and trust in Him. I want to look at this song. I've never heard the song before, but I do like the words of it after I read it. Um, I tried to find um, a music video or somebody singing it, and I can't find it. Um, if When I'm done, if I find it, I'll post it on my heading here. But this song was written by John Lane in 1892, and the song is called Keep Close to Jesus. And children, that will preach all by itself. We need to keep close to Jesus. Four verses in the course. First one's one says, When you start for the land of heavenly rest, keep close to Jesus all the way. For He is the guide and He knows the way best. Keep close to Jesus all the way. Verse 2, Never mind the storms of trials as you go. Keep close to Jesus all the way. Tis a comfort and a joy His favor to know. Keep close to Jesus all the way. Verse 3 says, To be safe from the darts of the evil one, keep close to Jesus all the way. Take the shield of faith till the victory is won. Keep close to Jesus all the way. Verse 4 says, We shall reach our home in heaven by and by. Keep close to Jesus all the way. Where to those we love will never say goodbye. Oh, keep close to Jesus all the way. And I tell you, this course just flat out drives the point home. Keep close to Jesus. Keep close to Jesus. Keep close to Jesus all the way. By day or by night, never turn from the right. Keep close to Jesus all the way. Folks, I want you to know today that Jesus Christ is just a prayer away. 
and and he's there to hear your prayers and your cares and your troubles and your heartaches and let me just throw this in he's also there to listen to your worship and listen to your praise and listen to your thanksgiving listen we spend more time whining and crying and pleading and begging for God to do things but we also need to spend equal amount of time if not even more worshiping and praising and thanking him for what he does for us and I tell you what I, I fell even in my worship and praise and and I don't think we can ever get it completely told and, and completely out but you know I don't ever want a day passing by where I don't thank God multiple times for his blessings and miracles and mercies that he gives in my life um, but listen Christ is there he's our refuge <clears throat> he's our healer he's our comfort he's our eternal home if we just put our trust in him listen that's all I got for you today I hope you enjoyed this three-part series um, Lord willing we'll be back Monday with another devotion um, got something I'm looking at um, I think it's pretty interesting hopefully you guys will find it interesting as well um, be sure to hit the share button if you don't mind share this devotion on your page um, we'll be praying for you all as you pray for us and um, we'll be at um, Stockdale Baptist Church Sunday morning and Sunday night unfortunately I don't think there's Wi-Fi out there to go live but we can record it and um, share it with you um, just like we did last night's service um, and then I think the following Sunday we'll be at Bonza Run um, Outreach Church um, singing o and preaching over there as well. So, you know, still got a lot of things on the schedule um, working for the Lord. Um, if, we're, if we're able, we've been meaning to sit down and go live at the house. One of these days we'll, we'll, we'll be able to do that again. So, um, listen, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Love y'all. God bless you.